Our next presenter is Sharon Adiga. Her presentation is titled, Combating Sugar Cravings. The recent rise in obesity is an epidemic that's plagued our country for decades now. Simply put, obesity results from an imbalance in energy intake and energy expenditure. So when your food intake exceeds that of the energy that you're burning, it likely results in obesity. Now food comes to us in three macronutrient forms. We have our proteins, our fats, and our carbohydrates. One of the main forms of carbohydrates is sugar, and sugar is actually thought to be one of the leading causes of obesity. Now let's pause and take a second to do what you've all been waiting for. That's right, we're gonna do an audience poll. So raise your hands if you like sugar. Come on, I'm talking sugar in any form, right? Candies, cookies, ice cream. On average, about 70% of Americans actually prefer sugars to other macronutrients. Why is this? Now don't get me wrong, I'm not here to try and berate you on how much sugar you eat. That'd be really hypocritical of me. But now more than ever, I do believe that it's important to study why individuals have preferences for specific macronutrients and how this is regulated. That's where my research comes in. The main question I want to answer is how exactly does our body know when to stop eating sugar and what are the driving factors behind this? So in our lab, we study a hormone called fibroblast growth factor 21 or FGF21. FGF21 is produced in the liver and is able to travel to a number of tissues throughout the body. Recently, we found that FGF21 travels to a specific pocket in the brain called the hypothalamus to lower sugar intake. And what's really cool about FGF21 is that it's specific to carbohydrates. So it doesn't lower protein intake or fat intake, just sugar. And so essentially what happens is you eat a piece of chocolate, your liver produces FGF21, it then travels to and associates with a specific neuron in the hypothalamus which tells you, okay, okay, you've had enough of that chocolate. The goal of my project is to try and figure out what neuron FGF21 is associating with and what are the downstream mechanisms that lead to you saying, okay, yeah, I think I have had enough sugar. Interestingly, there are a subset of neurons in the hypothalamus called oxytocin neurons that have been shown to lower sugar intake. And so we hypothesize that FGF21 associates with these oxytocin neurons to lower sugar intake. Now using a number of different techniques that either activate or block oxytocin signaling, we're able to confirm that FGF21 does in fact lower sugar intake via oxytocin neurons. Now this obviously has huge implications for the treatment of diabetes, obesity, and various other met metabolic diseases. If we can figure out how exactly FGF21 lowers sugar intake, we can use it to treat, and more importantly, prevent the development of these diseases. Thank you.